Call Me What You Like is the second song on the newest album from the band Lovejoy, named Wake Up and It's Over. The music video for the song was released on February 10th, 2023, and it captured my attention immediately. The music video focuses on a protagonist played by the band's lead singer, Will Gold, who is on a plane that begins to crash. Throughout the video, while the other passengers try to escape the plane, Will fights to remain on the plane and does not try to escape until it's too late. However, the story in the lyrics of Will's failing relationship and his desperate attempts to save it intrigued me even more. In Call Me What You Like, the band Lovejoy uses visual metaphors, subtext, and the protagonist's struggle with masculinity to discuss how men can feel in unhealthy relationships. Unhealthy relationships that involve cheating and or abuse are extremely difficult for men to leave because they feel emasculated and powerless and they try to deny the problems in the relationship because they think that the issues stem from their own shortcomings and they can fix things if they just try to please their partner. Let's talk about the visual aspects of this piece. In the music video, Will stays put on the crashing plane. However, it's not just him staying still that's really important. He has complete indifference to what is happening around him. He doesn't look when a flight attendant rushes down the aisle, or when people get up to evacuate, or when they put mannequins in their seats to replace them. He's completely numb to the reality of the crashing plane. Which brings us to the perhaps a bit obvious metaphor the crashing plane being a metaphor for Will's failing relationship. Looking at the lyrics of the song, one of the main lines of the first bridge is... I like to think that I'm the only guy she'll see tonight. Will knows that she, his girlfriend, partner, whatever, is cheating on him. Yet he tries his best to ignore this fact. He wants to think that she's still faithful, that their relationship isn't going down like a crashing plane. The song and video also have a tone of deep desperation. Going back to the lyrics again, Will talks about how he just wants to stay with her even if she'll only hurt him. Though he doesn't say this outright. On the surface, it seems like a jab at Will's height, which is six foot five, which would cause him to hit his head on doorways. But Will uses subtext or doublespeak to say what he really means, which is something like, let me stay with you and I'll deal with whatever pain you put me through. To look further into the line, we can go back to the visual aspect of this piece. At this point in the video, Will is talking into a microphone and looking at the camera. Will likely made this choice to emphasize the character's desperation at this point. He doesn't want her to leave him, even if she's cheated on him and hurt him. Which brings us to the other side of the piece that I want to look at. The song and video can be viewed as commentary on masculinity in unhealthy relationships. We already know that Will does not want to leave the relationship, but we haven't gone over why that might be. It's a fact. Men cheat more than women, though this is not to say women don't cheat. The most likely reason for this is power and masculinity. So if we look at Will's relationship where the girlfriend is cheating and Will knows she's cheating, how does Will feel? He feels like he's the problem or the reason why she's cheating, like he has some shortcoming that he has to fix. In the chorus, Will makes a desperate plea to his girlfriend. Will feels like it's his duty as a man to be better so that she wants to stay with him. He feels like he has to provide whatever she wants at whatever detriment to him to keep her happy with him. Masculinity in our society has a lot to do with providing, being strong, and not quitting or failing. If you quit or fail at something, which already takes down a pillar of masculinity, you're seen as weak, which takes down another pillar. Will knows that this relationship isn't right, but he can't leave her because that would be admitting defeat and weakness. Will feels like he's not enough for her. He's not made for her because she's cheating on him. She tells him that her cheating means nothing and he wants to believe that it means nothing or that it's not happening at all, but he still feels like he has done something wrong. Now that we've looked at the piece from all angles, let's bring it all together. The plane in the video is not only a visual representation of the failing relationship, but it helps to illustrate Will's refusal to admit defeat because admitting defeat would be emasculating to him. There's also a flip of traditional gender roles since the woman is cheating and Will is desperate for her love. 
The tone of desperation used in Will's singing and acting shows his powerlessness and emasculation caused by the woman's cheating and dishonesty. All of this comes back to the fact that men feel like they can't leave relationships like this because they believe that they're the problem, and that problem can be fixed by being better or submitting to the woman's whims or wants. In conclusion, Call Me What You Like is a song about desperation and unhealthy relationships and how powerless one can feel in this situation. Will's masculinity, identity, self-worth are challenged in this song, which speaks to how detrimental unhealthy relationships are to a person's mental health. When a person blames themselves for all of the problems in their relationships and even blames themselves for their partner's actions, the effect can be devastating. Call Me What You Like is a powerfully desperate and touching song when you truly take a look at the deeper meanings and messages. Also, it's just a real banger. This is unrelated to the project. I just wanted to show you my cat. Take it.